What's up guys, Matt Boss in. As you guys see, the game ain't low in my opponent's top three, but that does not matter because in today's gameplay, I might as well. You see one of them being Garrett Wilson with Luke Keekley and Elijah Moore. This is game one of three. We're going to be showing off the three first round picks by my New York Jets, which is Sauce, Gardner, we got ourselves Jermaine Johnson as, hold on, we got ourselves an interception. Darrell, Revis, Revis Island is going to bring this thing back for six against the Titans. And yeah, just like that. What's his name? Big Money. One, two, one, eight. Uh, yeah, he's out. Bye. So let's try that again now. My opponent's top three for game two. Randall Cunningham, uh, Jairon Brown, and cornerback Randy Moss. My three hasn't changed. But like I was trying to say before, we're showing off Sauce Gardner, we're showing off Garrett Wilson, and we're showing off Jermaine Johnson. If you guys do enjoy this video and you guys want to see someone new from the draft class, let me know. Drop a like, hit sub, turn on notifications, and comment down below for the algorithm. And yeah, other than that, you already see right there, Sauce Garner coming in on a blitz, but my boy made a beautiful read right there. First down and 10. He's rolling out to the left with Cunningham, trying to find someone, and that's going to be batted away. And bro, this was before Limited Time Revis came out. He's making picks, bro. That's two picks for him in two games. That's crazy. Two games, he has a pick in each one. That's crazy. It's right there. Gail Wilson, good catch, about five yards. Speaking of Garrett Wilson, I want to talk a little bit, though, about my Jets draft, if you guys do not mind. Because all I got to say is Devontae Adams, beautiful catch there. Yo, we honestly nailed it, yo. This is a home run draft because besides the three picks that we got, we got Brees Hall in the second round, stole him not only from Houston, but we also stole him from Buffalo, who apparently... Some fans wanted him with pick 25. It's right there. Kyle Pitts wide open down the seam at the 40-yard line. Going for six against the Patriots, making it 7 to nothing. But nah. Sauce so Gardner, bro. He's going to be a stud as right here. You see him throwing his way. Interception by Sauce Gardner, bro. Lost in the sauce right now. Because look at this, man. That's out of my opponent's team, bro. They got lost in the sauce as he's going for six. That's at least a 99-yard pick six for Sauce Gardner. Beautiful play by him. That's right here, though, my point. Throws it to Derrick Henry. Not going that far again. On about four or five yards. In a hurry up. But nah, bro. Sauce Gardner at four. I like the pick because I either he was my only exception if we didn't get an edge rusher. Now, for as right, I don't know why right there, though, Revis didn't jump, bro. So, I know I cut off the back to the game, but I don't know why Revis didn't jump there. Yo, that's another interception. But anyways... Uh, where was I? Right. Like I was saying before, Sauce Gardner, he was the only exceptional pick I would have took at four that was not an edge rusher like Kayvon Thibodeau as Cam Chancellor. Beautiful pick there. It wasn't like Kayvon Thibodeau as to the Giants, so congratulations. Y'all got yourself a stud of a pass rusher, man. As right there, my opponent, he's going to be up and on out of here too. Game three, nothing else here really changed. Our three hasn't changed. As for my opponent, let's see what he's got. Michael Vick, Vaughn Miller, and Jack Youngblood. But nah, Giants got themselves a hell of a pass rusher, though, in Kayvon Thibodeau, bro. Because that's why I originally won at four, if it wasn't him or Aiden Hutchinson. That's what I won there. If not, I'll accept um, Sauce Gardner at four. No lie. That was fine by me. Because we need a corner and we need an edge. More than we need an edge. But I see why they took the corner at four. That's right there. Good play there. They tried to get Garrett Wilson. Richard Sherman there on a pick. But nah. Sauce Gardner, he's going to be locking up Tyree Kill. He's going to be locking up Stephon Diggs. All the number one receivers in this AFC uh, conference. But nah. Then we move to Garrett Wilson, the Ohio State wide receiver. He's not that bad. He's the number one receiver coming out of this draft class. Drake London did go first. He was the only one I didn't want. Because, oh my god. What was that defense? How does he get so wide open there? Pressure coming off the left side, bro, and somehow he has a guy wide open across the body. But anyways, when it comes to the receiver class, the only one I didn't want was Drake London. That's it. Like, I'll make it simple. When it comes to the weight with Drake London's injury, especially because he didn't run at the 40, I would rather, and I was pro day actually as well, I would rather take someone with a torn ACL because that I'm more comfortable. As much as obviously though any injury is not good at all for anybody, I'm more comfortable with players coming back from a knee injury. As wait, hold on. Garrett Wilson just torched Revis. Say goodbye to him, because that is 78 yards, y'all. Garrett Wilson, six. Let's get it. 
Just burn that corner, man. 7 0. But nah. I trust receivers, or not really receivers, like anybody coming off a knee injury more than an ankle or a heel injury. Because I don't know what it is, though. I feel like with as much modern mess we have now, I just feel like they just come back a lot quicker than they do with an ankle or an Achilles injury, for example, or a heel injury, like with, I think it was Kyle Hamilton at the time. I think it was either Kyle Hamilton or Derek Stanley. I don't remember which one specifically. But they were a top prospect, though, that were projected to go down to the middle because of their injury. Like I said, I don't remember off the top of my head which one it was. But not nah, Garrett Wilson, though. He's going to be a stud. He's going to be that true number one that we have. Corey Davis is more of a number two. And with Elijah Moore in the slot with Braxton Berrios, that's going to be good. Add to that, we traded back into the first round. And, yo, I was at a Jets draft party, bro. Oh, my God. When we traded back up for Jermaine Johnson, being there at 26, the entire room erupted, bro. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It was so loud in there, bro. But nah, you can't blame him. Jermaine Johnson is the third or fourth best edge rusher. That's right there. We're going to get picked off. I thought Garrett Wilson was going to beat Night Train Lane. But I, what are you going to do? Anyway. Um, what is it? Jermaine Johnson was the third or fourth best pass rusher in this draft class. So no one expected him to be there at 26. And apparently, according to Joe Douglas, though, since pick 15, he's been trying to jump back in and then to go get him. But nah, that was just good moves by him. I was fine with it. Because now we got ourselves our pass rusher in JJ. We got ourselves Sauce, JJ, and G-Dub on the team. I am so happy. And speaking of Sauce, there is another interception by him. And if he beats this guy here, which he's going to do, he's going back for six again, bro. That is a 63-yard pick six. Sauce going, I got two picks me already. He's got two pick sixes. That's crazy. The only one who's going to be a little bit quiet, though, because I do have Jermaine Johnson, uh, is going to be him. Because I have him in my nickel formation, because I believe... Do I have, yeah, I do. I still have, I believe, in this video, uh, Max Crosby in that starting left end spot. I'm in 3-4 or 4-3. That car is just something different, bro. That car came out back during the... What was the Mud Hero promo, part two, or the Guardian part two promo, whatever one it was. I forgot. And he just, he's still good, bro. Max Crosby is still good. But anyways, let's hop now to the 34th. Not 34th, my mistake. The trade up for 36. So I believe the draft part three will come out tomorrow. So all the second round, third round, fourth round, all that stuff's going to come out uh, tomorrow. Uh, Brees Hall from Iowa State. I didn't knew he was the best running back. I'm just one of those guys who, um, what is it? That's more getting a running back. Good sack there by Marcus. Was it? Not Marcus. What am I saying? Michael Parsons. I'm thinking of three different players right now, but I'm more of a player that, yo, who just caught that? Jermaine Johnson, yo, with a pick. That's crazy. Every one of these new players, yo, made a play. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm getting on top of now. Um, when it comes to a running back, I'm more getting them like in the third round, the earliest. So, I see CJ Uzuma is going for six right there. Thank you very much. But now nah, I'm more of one of those. Get a running back in the third round or later because it's not the talent-wise or the position-wise. It's just that you could find a good running back later on. Like look at Alvin Kamara. I believe he was a third-round pick. Um, Who was it? I know obviously the big one, though, like, for example, like Saquon Barkley was taking three. Not a three, two. Uh, Zeke was taking five in his draft class, so on and so forth. I understand that. DJ Reed, good pick right there. But... Honestly, that's just me. I'm more of taking a running back later on in the draft. So this way, you can use that draft pick, that earlier draft pick, to get a quarterback or a receiver or a corner, offensive line, edge rusher. Because that's one of the main things you need. The three main things you need to have a team successful is a quarterback, their blind side tackle, rather you have a lefty or a righty. That would depend on... Whatever uh, side they play on, that's how you know which quarterback, not quarterback, uh, tackle you're taking. And the last one is an edge rusher, the guy that goes out to the quarterback. That's the way I look at it. So, Brees Hall, guy looks really good. Definitely can compliment Michael Carter. Can't wait to see that go on because Michael Carter is also a pass catching running back. And honestly, Hall can do it too. He's just another weapon for Zach Wilson. And then taking Jeremy Ruffner in the third round, Long Island native. Huge Jets fan, bro. That I thought was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Because that, if you're a little kid, bro, and you're dreaming of playing in the NFL, 
and your favorite team drafts you, there's nothing more you can say, bro. I love, I would love it. And then the last two, I believe, was like Max Mitchell, an offensive tackle, and Mike uh, Michael Clemens, a, another edge rusher. So I'm fine with that. It was only like, what, was it like six players who drafted? That's cool. I'm good with it. Because we still got 18 million cap. We still got some, honestly, still some good free agents out there. Like today, the Honey Badger just got signed by the Saints for a three-year deal. So think about it like that. As Sauce Garden's gonna get his third pick of the video, but unfortunately, it's not for six. I wish that was for six, bro. Three pick sixes, bro, in your debut. Oh my lord, I'm gonna get lost in the sauce, y'all, all season. Watch, that's all of us Jeff fans gonna be in, bro. But now, just seeing this type of stuff is right there. I tried to get Garrett Wilson again. But night train lane is somehow staying with him. I don't know how he's staying with him, bro. But nah. This season, though, I cannot wait. It cannot come any quicker as right now we're about to win out under the 2 minute warning for our final game of the video. All three of these cards that I used today Garrett Wilson, uh, Jermaine Johnson, and especially Sauce Gardner. All three of them played very, very well. I'm honestly happy with the results of these cards. And also. I cannot wait for this team to play as it's 4th and 10. He's rolling out with Michael Vick, and he's going to be wide open right there. Because the safety drops down. I might replace Brian Dawkins, to be honest with you. So let me know in the comments, should I replace Brian Dawkins with Mika Fitzpatrick's 99 overall, or should I wait for somebody else? Let me know. We're going to hand off right here to Michael Carter. Try and get back inside. Good play there. He's going to get about maybe a couple yards. Timeout by my opponent. And you're going to see right here, play action. Garrett Wilson versus Night Train Lane one more time. And Garrett Wilson's going to beat him. I threw him on four streaks. Two out of four he got in this game. That's fine. But Sherman stood with him. Night Train stood with him. That's fine. I'll take it. As he's going to throw across his body there with Michael Vick. Trying to get there with Cam Chancellor. We knocked it out. He's got about 57 seconds left in the game. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to this game. So, honestly, the fact that I got this with Cam Chancellor, that was a little lucky. I'm not going to front. But anyways. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do me a favor, drop a like, hit the sub, turn, turn on notifications, and comment down below who you're not only who you team your team drafted, but should I replace Brian Dawkins and who else do you guys want to see? I will have a game, another gameplay up either later tonight, if not tomorrow morning. But again, if you enjoyed, let me know, drop a like, hit the sub, turn on notifications. So this way, guys, not miss the video. Follow my Twitter, links in the description. Hope you all have a great day. I'm out.